Podcast 914, Potpourri. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this week's Mighty My Mac Podcast 914, as the man said. Do you know what happens when you throw a podcast together without a topic or show notes and things just seem more disorganised than usual? Funny you should ask. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've got a feeling this week might be just a bit off the shelf, as yeah, you may a little say. Bit. A little bit, a little bit. Hi, Guy, how are you? I'm Well, it's for me, and doing this show, it's, it's very early, but it's not yes. that early. Really, since it's uh, after 9 a.m. Oh, and let's see, you're, positive, you're four positively. hours ahead, right? Um, when do you change your clocks? I think next week. Uh, Damn it. Listen, we talked about this last week, okay? <laughs> well, if you change Rest them next the world, week, then stop four it. hours. Yes, yes, four hours. Just stop four it. Hours. So right yes. now it's, it's about quarter after one? Yes, yes, correct. <sighs> okay, next week when we change... It'll be five hours again. Yeah, but Don't when care. do you change? Just... But, but when do you change? Do you change on oh, the Saturday in the of the night? night? On the Saturday? Uh, yeah. Going so, into if, if we, so if we record on the Saturday, you'll still, be, still four be four hours. It'll still be four hours. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Come on. Listen, I will vote for president in 2024, whichever party it is. Gets rid of daylight savings time. <laughs> I will be so grateful. And the rest of the world will be like, yes, yes. Nobody wants it. It doesn't do any good. Anyway, Cut what's happened out. to you? What's happened to you this week? G <sighs> G Man? I'm so flustered. There's actually there's a lot of stuff going on that um uh, I can't really talk about yet because I was looking for. Okay, it's not there. Good. Good. Oh wait, <laughs> I, even, folks. Even I don't know what he was looking for. Yeah, <laughs> I was looking for this right here. Now, if if you're listening oh, to the right. audio, yes, it's I like see. just this banner that goes across the bottom of the screen. It has my name. Says Tech is Hard, My Mac Podcast Guys Daily Drive, <laughs> and because this is only the second time I've used it in a long, long time. I forgot where it was and made a big deal out of it. So I'm talking about it here. <laughs> Tech yeah. is hard. Tech is hard. And if, if, if I had been recording before we actually started the show, <laughs> you would have realized just how hard tech can be. And for once, for once, it wasn't all about me and it wasn't all about Gaz but all about a particular browser that, that we're not going to talk about. Anyway, no, there's lots no. of stuff going on, Gaz, that I, I can't talk about yet until after. So, what, so why did you tell us there's lots of things going on that you can't talk about? Why don't you because tell I us about I, things? Because I like to keep them informed on things that I can't <laughs> tell them. There's lots of things I can't tell you, but I'm not going to tell yeah, you about them. Exactly. <laughs> but after U.S. Thanksgiving... I will I will mention it, but for now it's all hush hush secret squirrel and, and and all that. And what I can tell you is that my plans are finalized for my multi location Florida trip. Kind of a world Ooh. tour. If by world Ooh. you mean two places, and by tour you mean very few people will care. So look out, Ormond Beach and Boca Raton, Florida. A G Man is on his way, and no, not the Mar-a-Lago, and not that kind of G Man. <sighs> yeah, brilliant. So brilliant. <laughs> what have you got going on? Well, I this week I've finally completed um, the last of my. Sorry, I'm just moving an email that I need to speak about uh, later. Um, I finally finished all of those tutorials on my Mac. Or using ooh, my ooh, my ooh, Mac, ooh. Um, yay! That's that's good. Um, I thought I've got to say I thoroughly enjoyed doing them. Actually, really enjoyed um, doing the process of recording. Yeah, we can them. tell by your yawn. And this, <laughs> oh, it was great. <sighs> oh. um, yeah, doing the script for them, then recording the voiceover. Um, and it is funny because doing the actual action and doing the voiceover, 
I kind of interacted between doing the script first and doing the video and then doing the video first and then doing the script. It, and it just, it, it, it was cool. It was cool. And ScreenFlow was really useful to, you know, to, uh, you know, extend a frame so I could extend a highlight section of the screen and so that I could make sure it timed in with the voiceover as well. So well, did yeah, you, did really you good. use like, like live video or did you use pictures or both? No, I generally used video and then um, if I needed a freeze frame, I would actually just cut it because in ScreenFlow you can actually create a freeze sure. frame. So I occasionally used a freeze frame and if I needed to move move that freeze frame, I could then pull it out and put it into a different section of the, of the nice. video if needed. So yeah, yeah, really good. Really Much good, more really tech related it. than me talking about Florida. <laughs> well, possibly, possibly. Um, <laughs> that much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So... Um, yeah, just just still enjoying the life of a country which is basically on a uh, well, it's basically a snowball going downhill very fast, collecting lots of people as it goes down. So yeah, it's great fun over here at the moment. Yeah, <laughs> it's an avalanche to hell. It's it, it is it is, but same for same for a lot of other countries at the moment, but not quite as bad as ours. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, so. Uh, enjoyed it. I was just thinking about something. There was, oh, it's a piece of software and I've got it in my snippet. So I'll come to that later. Okay. I'll uh, just talk about that. Um, I'm not, I haven't got it and I haven't used it, but um, I did actually use a home uh, plan up, an app called plan up, which is available uh, on the Mac and also on your um, you iPad. use that for like the the screen flow tutorials? No, you no, were no, doing? no, 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 no. This plan up was something which I'm um, um, for pl making a, a floor plan of the house. Oh, nice. You're do doing some, some renovations? Cool. Well, we've done some re renovations, but I, I want a plan which I can always refer to because what you find yourself doing is redoing the plan, which you've already sure. done, but you can't find where you did it in the first place. So I've now used this app and uh, you, you can pay a one-time fee just to get a single plan. Um, but you're not supposed to be able to use it on the Mac if you're not a business user. Um, and they've allowed me to be a business user, but actually it's it's as easy on the uh, on the iPad to be honest with you. Anyway, there are plenty of plans and uh, plan, well, you know, we're going to do some renovations there. around here. I just there's a couple of load bearing walls that I have to take out first, and then it'll be smooth. It'll as be silk. fine. I'll do, it'll be yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't use any stress. It's like, didn't we used to have up. a second floor? Yeah, did we? Did we? Didn't we used to have a roof? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what mic is guy using today? Oh, it's the same one. It's this. It's this lovely. <laughs> you see, lovely. I know, you see, I've got no idea whether I know, that's the I know, same as last week or not. You know, so well, it is. Think, because what this you is, should this is, what you should put in that little section. So, folks, put you know, like new here's the story something. behind. Here's here's the behind the scenes <laughs> of how we work. So we've got an area that says what mic is guy using today, and in it in it it's got a mic number. I've got no idea whether that's the same as last week. So what guy should put in there is different, same, different, and then I can ask him. See, but no, no, he's got to put the full because of his OCD. He's got to put the full mic number in, and yeah. Oh, uh, also, also, I also put in the uh, the interface that I'm yeah. using with this microphone <laughs> because <laughs> which he's used before, which he's that. used before and doesn't want to talk about because he's used it before. Incredible. <sighs> anyway, let's crack yeah. into the snippets, shall we? So, well, actually, before oh, you no. go to the snippets, I wish I could play that in reverse. Actually, well, you can. Um, you can go into um, Farago, right. not Farago. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is what is Rogue for, Amoeba's little app? Fission for fish, fission. fission. Oh, right, and I'll you do can that, you can reverse it there. I'll do that because uh, sometimes but, you you do this to me, and I have to reverse I know, out. Of and I'm fact, sorry. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, pretend this is being played backwards. There is an interface that I want to buy so badly, but like many things related, I, I don't need it. So I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'm going to resist. Right. And it's, it's the Motu M6. I have the Motu M4 and I have no need for a four input audio interface okay. but it doesn't mean i don't want it <laughs> no and it's it's like 300 bucks you know and it's like i could do a lot of other audio stuff i don't need for 300 bucks 
th- he's quite expensive guy. I mean, yeah. Well, I mean the um, the Behringer UV one that I'm using now with the uh, the Rode NT1 mic. See, I knew we would work our way back to it. Um, <laughs> is actually so far, it's been an amazing unit, and it does... you were just doing that to throw me off. I know. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, I'm done. I love this microphone. I love this interface, and I highly recommend either or both. Okay, cool. <sighs> <laughs> I'm now going to play Gazzy's snippets. Brilliant. I love it. I do love it. Apple Supercycle predicted as iPhone 14, Mac, and Apple Watch attract switches, guy. There's more switches coming. It's going to be boom time for Apple, apparently, we think, or says, analysts. Well, um, you know, they need they, they need actual new product on the Mac side for, for there to be switchers. I mean, and that's not to say that the current stuff they have isn't great. I mean, we're both using M1 and Mac minis, and, and it's a wonderful machine. Uh, it's now over, God, it's close to a year and a half. Two years now since the M1 yeah. Mac Mini came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It Needs an update. Two years. Apple yeah. <laughs> needs an update. Anyway, these are snippets. Do you know it was ten years since Scott Forstall was forced out of Apple? What? <laughs> I know, incredible, isn't it? Um, Apple's online store and information system chiefs are reportedly, reportedly. Leaving the company. I tell you, what, there's a lot of people leaving Apple at the moment. Um, Apple supplier Foxconn quadruples bonuses to staff hit by yet another China COVID lockdown. So apparently, did, did you see the video from China from some of the uh, the, no. the factories? No, I didn't. People were basically because there was no transportation set up, so they were basically walking off the job. And then walking, and there are like thousands of people walking away from these factories because they had no other way to get away from them. Not good. Um, no. This, this one's specifically for Carl, uh, and you will need to let me finish on this one. EU could force third-party app stores on Apple after the USB-C iPhone mandate. I think... And this is Carl thinking this. I think that the person, company or governing body is putting at risk my ability to be able to choose a secure and reliable environment that I have chosen. So person, company or governing body, if you want to play that silly game, I, along with I'm sure a lot of other people, will continue call, continue to call you nasty, horrible people for putting my security and everybody else who does the same or wants the same at jeopardy. There. Done it. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wait, Spe- no. Especially for it, you, Carl, that was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I noticed you actually sent him that entire, that entire uh, Not the first uh, text. time. N- not the first time. Okay. Um, apparently, um, Apple pays uh, music artists much more than Spotify. Well, more than Spotify. I'm not going to tell you what the details are because it's never yeah, straightforward. Uh, it, it's the difference between zero and one. <laughs> An Apple embezzler admits to defrauding company of $17 million and he faces up to 20 years imprisonment. As he should. As he should. Um, I I kind of veered away from doing these stories, but actually I think this is key to Apple. Uh, Apple Watch has helped an 81-year-old call 911 after falling while alone. Um, I just can't rave enough about it, said the man. Um, And equally, I think... There are a lot of more elderly people that could certainly have this sort of technology available to them and would certainly make other people a lot more comfortable that their parents have got some sort of security as this to be able to help with making sure they keep safe. As long as the person that's receiving it or the person that's giving it knows how to set it up. Because you can lead yourself to a false sense of security if you have one of these and it's like, okay, well, they're all set. Same, and then... same, same, same for seatbelts, guy. Same for everything. If you don't well, wear your yeah, seatbelt, seat belts, you're in an seat belts is like click, you know, an, an yeah. Apple Watch yeah. can yeah, be so, a little more complicated. So, so why do I still see people not wearing seatbelts? 
Because they're idiots. Well, I'm moving on. I'm moving on. The Glasgow Apple Store employees, first in the UK to unionise, and they call it a historic moment. I don't know why. We've had unions in this country for years. Yeah. (laughs) Apple has slashed budgets and implements a broad hiring freeze. What? I've got another one coming. I've got another one coming on a little bit later. Um, Yeah. Slash, slash, slash. The factory, the, the, the factory. Oh, oh, someone's coming in the door, and Will has heard them. Um, the factory run by Foxconn has placed under total COVID lockdown in China. That's not very good for Apple's production woes. Um, now, this is the app. I haven't looked at this, but I just noticed it, and I put it into the snippets this morning. Rewind AI. The headline says it records everything you do on your Mac so you can refresh so you can refresh your memory, he says with air quotes. Um, yeah, I do, can't see how anything could go wrong with that. No, we do a lot on our computers every day, and although uh, apps like web browsers let you keep track of your browsing history, there's no easy way to go back in time to check on something you've worked on. Until now, Rewind AI has announced a new app that records everything you do on your Mac so you can refresh your memory anytime you want. We'll see how that pans out, folks. See how that, I mean... I'm, Turn on Time Machine. Well, yeah, yeah, but then you've got to have it a lot more. That I think this is recording everything, Guy, so every little move that you make. So let's say you're creating a document and you, you delete a load of section and then rewrite it and then go you know down and you're starting on page three, four, and you go back and you reread it and you go, did I really want it to read like that? This could be useful in things like that, I think, but I've not looked into it yet. This is just yeah, first pass. Yeah, I'm thinking keystrokes and... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And if it records everything, is it listening? Like people should be doing to this podcast. Anyway, a man, <laughs> a man has stolen <laughs> or Max... Watching. <laughs> man who has stolen Max in a brazen armed robbery Aww. of a Virginia Apple retail store. Not very really? good. Wait, where, yes. where? Where was that? W- what? Which store? Uh, yeah. Cla- Clarendon in Arlington. Wow, really? On, when- that- on Wednesday. Here's here's an interesting little local tidbit. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but when the iPad first came out, I did a video talking to people that were buying. I didn't buy one myself, but I, mm-hmm. I went all the way down to that store before it opened, the Clarendon store. Okay. And talk to people that were going to buy one because there was a line of like 100 people there. Yeah. People were like going crazy. And I, I did a vid. I'll have to see if I can find the video. Uh, I did a, a, a video outside of the store talking to all these people. And uh, the, the store itself is an outside store. Yes. It, it's yes. like in a strip mall that kind of goes in a horseshoe. And uh, it's it's actually a very nice store. It, it's one of my... It looks a nice store. It is. It's my favorite of because there's like four or can five we, stores in get the, to the point? northern Virginia area. <laughs> what? <laughs> Big pardon? Snippets. Come on. Yeah. Oh, snippets. Yeah. So what was you going to say? I've got like ten minutes more to, to say about this. <laughs> I know you probably have. <laughs> <laughs> That's what concerns me. <laughs> anyway, yes, your store. I'm going to jump the next story and go to the next story, which you mentioned to me. Weather app gains Apple news section in iOS 16.2. Now, the thing is, that would be really useful. And you might have heard about that robbery in the news store rather than yeah. hearing it from me, you see. Yeah, but cool. the, the the thing is, it's not like they're going to blast you with like world news and all the rest of that. It's no, just it's local, local news, news yeah. to... Yeah whichever area code or city that you are currently viewing in the weather app. Isn't that a bit sneaky? Isn't that the sort of thing Apple doesn't want other apps doing, i.e. understanding where you are from another app to then give you information which they deem is relevant? Isn't that precisely what Apple... I don't think so. I think it is. I think it is. The original app, the original app already knows where you are. Because you've told the weather app. Yes, the weather app does. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And they're now utilizing that information for another app to feed news news into you. Yes, to feed news into you. Ah, don't care. Don't care. They're using two different apps to 
to glean information together, which is well, precisely what they don't basically, want. It's some basically it's basically just do. an RSS feed. So don't I'm, care, don't I'm actually back. not that I'm not that fussed about it. But well, I, I, am. I think it's well, a good I app. am. I think it's disgraceful. I think it's wonderful. <laughs> Apple TV app now hides up next row, making it harder to find what you want to watch. I oh, haven't good. seen this yet, so I've, I've had problems getting local files off the computer back onto the Apple TV. Well, apparently there is a new update for TVOS because um, <laughs> they've got a new update out, which um, yeah. has solved the match content screen blackout issue. So um, perhaps they need to solve the what's up next issue as well with the software, although that's the software rather than the hardware of the app, yeah. isn't it? So um, Apple tap to pay integration coming to PayPal and Venmo iOS apps. Wait, I'm quite sure that's good. Yeah, I'm not quite sure this one's going to work. Apple tap to pay integration coming to PayPal and Venmo. So at the moment, you can tap to pay, and obviously it uses maybe the credit cards that you've put in. I assume from this that you'll be able to tap to pay and pay with PayPal oh, and Venmo. Okay. So that's okay. coming to that's coming to iOS. That's actually, you know, having other types of payment services than credit cards and. Uh, uh, checking accounts and all the rest of that that you can currently use is not a bad idea because since the Apple card itself and the way that you pay for things with the Apple card is secure. Yeah. Then why not have an alternate form of payment? Uh, I, I agree with you rather than disagree. Yeah. Although I disagreed about the other thing. Um, <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare me? Apple. I mentioned this earlier. Apple freezes hiring for more job roles. Uh, to cut costs, Apple in October paused hiring for most jobs outside of research and development. Uh, that was according to a report from Bloomberg. So, not heard anything from Apple I'm directly. Blocking, now. punching, and slashing. Yeah, yeah, good. Um, Apple have briefly exceeded the combined market value of Amazon, Alphabet, and Meta this week, this last week. Wow. All I can say is, wow. Um, Apple has tasked a second assembly partner in India with iPhone 14 production. That's continued, obviously, move out of the China environment. Um, I saw this, and I'm not sure whether the headline is quite quite true. Big thumbs up from Guy there. Um, Apple TV Plus is giving away a collection of Jennifer Lawrence movies to promote the new Causeway film. Now, when I read through this, it didn't seem as they're actually giving the films away, just enabling you to be able to stream them at no in cost. Apple TV. For, yeah, in Apple TV. That's not giving them away unless I can actually well, own Well, but them. Remember, remember, Apple TV as a service is all original content. So the fact that they're showing previously created content outside of the Apple TV universe yes, is yeah, significant. Yeah, yeah, but the it's more I'm more having a go at the headline. The headline is giving away. Well it's not giving away. It's yeah, allowing it's just, you to stream it's, it's, and it's we letting don't you know watch if, it. And we don't know how, for how long. Um, Apple has celebrated the holiday season. Apple has rolled out this year holiday gift guide featuring all new lineups <laughs> like of Apple products. iPhone <laughs> iPad <laughs> Mac, Apple Watch, <laughs> AirPods, and this is from Apple Direct, this is, and so much more. <laughs> so nothing much screams, more. Nothing <laughs> screams Christmas slash Hanukkah like people going crazy into debt to give you Apple products that you probably don't need. <laughs> <laughs> Creeps are still trying to stalk people with air tags, but Apple's safety measures seem to be working. Good mm. news on that. Um, Apple is to extend the live TV advertising for Major League Soccer deal. Apple is building a live television and network in preparation for streaming Major League Soccer games. Um, Apple has agreed to expand its advertising as part of its deal with the MLS. Not a surprise. That report from Bloomberg. Um iPod inventor Tony Fidel joins ARM's board of directors amid the Apple Silicon transition. Quite how amid amid what's <laughs> what's left other than the Mac Pro? <laughs> well, the, the transition is done. The transition is over. It's I all think, M1 I think, now. Yeah, but I think this is for ARM. 
Well, um, yeah, but ARM is ARM is M1. Yeah, M1 is ARM. Yeah, but it's the architecture that it sits behind it because ARM is totally is not just M1, is it? No, but M1 is ARM. It goes yes, in one direction, yes, yes. but not the other. Yes, yes, yes. So I wonder ARM is more than M1, but M1 is all ARM. So I'm just trying to work out why, you know, why that could be relevant to that situation. I read through it and I couldn't kind of work because it out, so. there was an analyst that had nothing to talk about that week. <laughs> apple has settled the lawsuit with employee <laughs> accused of stealing trade secrets apple this week settled a lawsuit with simon lancaster a former employee accused of using his position within the company to steal sensitive trade secret information that was provided to a tech journalist huh and that guy is the end of Gaz's snippets. However, Gaz does have a link. Ooh. Gaz's link is only brought about just because I thought, oh, I'm with them. I use Vonage or Vonage or Venage. I was going to say, it sounds like a French company. I <laughs> use Venage. <laughs> Got to be careful, actually, how you say that, really. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> 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 there are certain ways that you could pronounce that word. Anyway, that, especially I'll, if you go from like French into I'll, German. I'll like do it in my English to... accent. Von Hodge. <laughs> Von Hodge. Uh, to pay $100 million for making it nearly impossible to cancel internet phone services. I use them, so I might just see if I can cancel it now just to see how easy it is to cancel it and then go, no, I was only joking. Well, Although, you to know, be honest you know how with they you, say it. We don't, uh, to be honest with you, we don't, we, we had it. So we had a landline. Do you like, do you like that? Do you like yeah. the weirdness of that? The it is weird. That, the fact that I've gone for an inter, internet protocol landline. <laughs> well, that's, that's what we're using. I mean, through our internet provider, we have yeah, a landline. And, and the and only it, reason why we have a landline is... Because it's basically our solicitor catch-all. Yes, so, and, yes. Yeah, I don't know what it's like in the UK, but here in the United States, solicitors are calling us 10 to 20 times a day, especially on that landline. So we just say, yeah, 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 yeah. Every single time that we have to give a telephone number out, yeah, that's the number that. that we give yeah. people. It's like, well, there yeah, are take still, that number. The thing is, the interesting thing is, though, this number obviously can be given out by anybody in the house to say, here's a number that you can get us on. Um, yeah. Rather than giving your mobile number out. Because actually your your mobile number actually now is really rather quite powerful and important. Well, that's so what to, everyone is using. And Yeah, I know. But the point I'm making is it's becoming a very much more valuable commodity than it ever sure. was because to you can utilize it well not <laughs> just to solicitors it, it's also for security reasons as well for yeah lots of stuff so anyway but, anyway well do you know how they say this this uh this company's name in the south <laughs> go on <laughs> i'm using for nagy <laughs> Yo. I'm, st I'm still going to say you've got to say that. And so I'm from the carefully. South, so I can say yeah. that. Yeah. You can't yeah. say it. I can oh, I say can. it. I'm, I'm from, from the, the south. south. No, I'm from the South. Oh, that's right. South England. Yes. South, <laughs> south Boston. Boston. Um, Boston. Anyway, that's the end of my link. Okay. <laughs> Made me laugh. I just pissed off about one third to one half of the U.S. Can you say that? I can. <laughs> Okay. I can. All right. <laughs> um, we really had, I mean, we threw this together like super, super quick. We and did. I, you did. I thought I about, did. We both did. I, we both did. And I was thinking about, well, what the hell could we talk about in the, you know, content heavy section? In, again, <laughs> air quotes. Hold on. This deserves four air quotes, Gaz. Air quotes <laughs> i like what if, you did there if yeah. anybody if you want to see <laughs> guy's not just done a single air quote he's done a quadruple quadruple or what's a sex tube i don't know what 16 is now anyway you did this 16 did, times you know air what? quotes if i could lift my feet high enough 
week. <laughs> I would take my shoes and socks off and do them as well. Lovely. Not... Okay, the tech heavy, yeah, heavy, heavy part of the show this week, and because. Uh, I've been on a couple of trips recently, and I'm going on another trip, obviously, uh, in a couple of weeks. I wanted to talk very briefly uh, about the stuff that I travel with. So, uh, actually, I would like to get, you know, what, when you travel out of town, you're, and I mean away from the house for more than a day, Yeah. what do, what do you take with you? Um, so, uh, lots of charges. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, obviously, I take my watch because that goes with me everywhere. And if I go in for more than a day, I take the charger for that. I'll take my iPhone. I'll take an iPad. That is pretty much it. Do you have a laptop at this point? No. No. Okay. No, my, my laptop is my iPad. And you know what? And I we have said this before over the, the course of, of years and years that the iPad has been out. But... Ooh, excuse me. We are really, really not that far away, uh, both in power and usability. I'd love to, I'd love to be able, I'd love to be able to find interface. it, guy. I'd love to be able to find it. But I said when the the iPad first came out, I said, "Meet your new MacBook." Yeah, I meet your yeah. new low end MacBook. I wish and I could find. Well, on I a, be, on a similar, I can't be bothered. On a similar I can't note. be bothered to no. go through and listen to it all to find no. um, it. <laughs> If if one of our if one of our listeners would do that, we'd really appreciate it. And I'll give you a Woody. I'll give you a Woody for that because that's above, so above and beyond the call of duty. Um, but between power and portability, the fact that you can have a, a decent sized keyboard and that a, a, a mouse or trackpad or some kind of pointing device is now pretty useful uh and the user interface lends itself it's still not perfect but it lends no, itself no. better to multitasking yes and that has been to me that's been the problem with the ipad all along it's almost impossible to multitask in the past and if you remember back the very last macworld expo in 2014 that was I didn't even take a laptop, and I did that on purpose to yes, see if I could yeah. do. I remember, I remember everything. that experiment. Yeah, <clears throat> to see if I could do everything that I would typically do at the MacWorld Expo with an iPad, and I did. I, I was able to do multi-track audio for podcasting. I was able to uh, edit images. I was able to put podcasts together. Where I was able to put video together. It took me two to three times as long to do it than if I'd had a Mac. And there were times when I sat there in the press room at the Mac World Expo and just said, why am I doing this? Why? Somebody give me a MacBook, you know, and, 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 but I, I stuck to my guns and I did it and everything worked reasonably well. Well, now fast forward eight years and with iOS 16, sorry, iPad OS. 16. The iPad is much more useful than it's it's more useful than it ever has been. And if you're the kind of person that needs to take a computer with you when you leave your house and you don't want to carry a huge charging brick and a 16-inch or 14-inch MacBook Pro and all of the peripherals that you need. Yep. iPad Pro or even or even an iPad Air or actually any of them will do if you not, just if, fine for ninety percent of what it yeah. is that you probably need one for. Probably ninety five, if I'm honest. Yeah. So, but that's that's all you take. You take an iPad, you take your phone, you take your watch, and all the charges that you need. Yep, yep. I don't take anything else if I'm going for more okay. than a day. Well, I, I haven't got anything else yeah. to take. I take a charging block. I will take well, it. So, I, so if we're stopping over somewhere, I'll take an extension, um, and I'll yes, take all those yeah, leads. That's a good idea. And I've, I've got the charging block on there as well. Because so, you never know yeah. what you're going to find in hotels these days. No, no. Most of the hotels that that Tracy and I have stayed in recently, a lot of them now have USB charging ports, USB A charging yeah, they're, ports. Yeah, they're pretty slow chargers though. 
Yeah, but I mean, if you're plugging it in before you go to bed, does it matter? Yeah, no, that doesn't. That's true. You know, it's going to be charged when you when you. It's going to be fully charged when you get up in the morning. Um, now, hold on to your hats, Gaz, because oh, I'm going to tell I've you something that's going to shock you. I can't believe that you'd ever tell me anything that's going to shock me. Okay, here it comes. When I travel, I take a lot of crap with me. <laughs> and I'll bet you take several mics. I do. I do. <laughs> Dave, I went to, actually, I'm wearing the hat for it. I went to the last uh, Mac. Mac stock. That's that's run by uh, Mike Potter in Woodstock, Illinois. Uh, and if you get a chance to go to Macstock, people, go. It's a great little conference. Um, and not just because I'm there, though. Of course, you know I'm I'm that a big helps, draw, doesn't it? That yeah, helps. it really does. <laughs> um, <laughs> the last one that I went to, Dave Ginsburg from In Touch with iOS, f was freaking out over the the bag that I had and all of the crap that I took with me and he he would just look at me and shake his head going you you know you're not going to use any of that stuff right <laughs> and it's like yeah but I yeah, needed but but <laughs> I but, needed yeah but well uh, I ain't too familiar with it but uh, I'll try anything once yeah well <laughs> What basically happened, I get to Woodstock, Illinois, and I have this huge backpack filled with stuff. And the only time I took it out was in Dave Ginsburg's hotel room to show him all of the stuff and how it all connected. And then it went all back into the backpack again and sat in my hotel room for the rest of the show. But, but... But well, I was ready. That cozy. Yeah, it was so cozy. So <laughs> now when I travel, um, though, like when I went up to Long Island, I did not take a laptop with me. I pretty much just did what you did. It was an iPad, yeah. a phone, and a watch. Yeah. Because I knew I wasn't going to be doing anything else. But for the Florida trip, because, I mean, who knows? I may have a Saturday where I'll call you and say, let's do an impromptu whatever. Uh, so besides my iPhone and my Apple Watch and my iPad Pro, I'll also take my uh, M1 16-inch MacBook Pro that is the fastest computer in this house and sits in a bag because I hardly ever use it. <laughs> but besides that, I'll also take uh, a Logi webcam. Uh, a Rode NT USB Mini. Now, sometimes I'll take—I have two of them, but in a case like this, I'll—I'll I'll just take one, and all of the stands and adapters that I need for that. And with with the latest version of the Mac OS, I'm starting to question if I even really need to take the Logi webcam. I think no. honestly, all I need yeah. is a stand. Yep. And my. Uh, my iPhone. Uh, just before we started to record today, I had both because right now I'm using my well, it's my Sony that I Sony mirrorless camera that I use as, a, as my webcam. But I also had up, <clears throat> and we we did this experiment last week. I also I had did. up my my iPhone 13 set up through continuity, and they both look great. We did, and, and we, we and, tested it again today and had great yeah. clarity on the fact of what I could see in the back corner of your and with room. some of the stuff that you can do through uh continuity settings which is a <clears throat> a thing that you that you do up in your menu bar <clears throat> you can have a nice looking like for people who <laughs> watch this you'll see that i've got this beautiful bokeh like blurred effect behind me well apple with continuity has that set up so that you can have a bokeh effect does it look as good as this eh, maybe not but it, it still looks great well, and I've, of course, I've just turned on my bokeh effect that you get actually from uh, from Apple's version. So continuity from continuity, so people can can see the difference. And it looks turn, it looks fine. I'll turn it. I'll turn it off. There you it go. looks it looks a lot better because um, I also do the um, Mac Voices podcast on Tuesday yep. nights. Yep. Not every week, yep. but sometimes. Yep. 
And a lot of the guys and gals that do that show turn on because uh, Chuck you do, Joyner you do uses that, Zoom. You do that show when Ch Chuck forgets to change the day, don't you? And yeah, when you, he when he forgets you. to, to uh, not yeah. include me in the Slack room. <laughs> It's like, ah, <laughs> snuck in again, Chuck. <laughs> but a lot of the people that, that do that show use the built-in blur effect in Zoom and some of the backgrounds that you can use in Zoom. And quite honestly, it doesn't look that good. You, you've you got a lot oh, of artifacts yeah. around the yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah know, I, don't like, I don't like the Zoom one. The Zoom yeah, one it, it really doesn't look good. But Apple's no. version of that looks really good. The only thing that, there's two things that, that, and I know I'm completely off the topic here. There are two things that Apple <laughs> should Shocker. add, I know, to continuity. Uh, one is a zoom effect. The other is the ability to add backgrounds. And I know that they could do that and it would look pretty good because it's basically the same thing that they're doing right now yeah. with the blur effect that they have built in. Agreed. So yeah. they could, they, instead of having a blur, they could have backgrounds. So those are two things I'd like to see them add. Uh, but getting back onto topic. Hurrah. Yeah. Besides the phone, the watch, the iPad Pro and the MacBook Pro, uh, I also will take a Bluetooth mouse and uh, of course the Logi webcam that I probably won't take with me to Florida now that I'm thinking about it. The Rode NT USB mini microphone and all of the stands and adapters that I need. Uh, I'll take a multi input charger and I don't can't think of what it is right now. The one that I'm currently using, but it's got two USB A and two USB C ports for charging. And that covers uh, not the MacBook Pro, but it, it'll charge everything else that needs charging that I'm taking with me. Uh, I also take multiple lightning and USB-C cables and specifically a USB-C to USB-A cable for CarPlay in whatever rental car yeah. that yeah. I'm going to have. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's the stuff that I travel with. And cool. as long as I'm not stupid <laughs> and keep my, the, the tech that I'm going to bring to what I've just talked about, I have a relatively small backpack uh, that I can fit all that stuff into. Yeah, but people have got to realize here, Guy, that yeah. your relatively small backpack on you would be a relatively large backpack on me. <laughs> well, it's it's one of those, what is that company, <laughs> the company that makes um, the, the Swiss army knives? Uh, Victorinox. Yeah, and it's got the little. There, there are two. Can red... I just it, can can we divert here? There sure. are two manufacturers of the Swiss Army knives. There isn't just one. There are officially officially there are two suppliers of the okay. um, uh, Swiss Army knives. You're going to ask me who the second one is, and I can't remember. But anyway. it doesn't matter. But it's it, it's the one that has the the red square with yeah, the white cross in the middle. I think that's of it. the Victorian Ox. I think it's I think that's the name. People are now screaming and laughing at me because I pronounced it wrong. But they, you know, no, they they scream and laugh at you because you do this podcast with me. That's true. <laughs> and have for 12, 13 years. But that's the company that makes the. Uh, I don't have it handy. the The backpack. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they that make I use many other things and as well. And for backpacks, for most people, I guess that would be a pretty big backpack. But I have got a monster backpack that carries not just the iPad and my laptop and a second 15-inch screen <laughs> that I connect <laughs> to the laptop. Uh, it also carries two small tech bags that I have packed with microphones and uh, stands and, and all kinds of stuff. And it weighs probably 60, 70 pounds by the time everything is crammed into this thing. And that's what I, I take with me. And the, the funny part is watching me go through airport security with one of yes. those things. Yes. Because as soon as it goes, it, it happens, Gaz, every single time. It goes through x ray, and you can see the bored look on the guy or gal's face that is looking. Because, I mean, they're there for, you know, six to eight hours a day with a, a couple of breaks because they'd go insane otherwise. And then my bag goes through, 
and the expression on their face totally changes. It's like, Burr? and then you'll see the conveyor belt go backwards with my bag. <laughs> it's like, and then it'll go forward a bit, and then it'll, it'll go, go forward a bit. and back a little bit, bit. <laughs> and then they raise their hand. And, Excuse me, I need an official to come and have a look at this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you know, then the SWAT team shows up, and uh, so cool. It's not good, and it's not fun, and. No. Cool. I, but I got to say, you get used to the strip search after a while. So <laughs> You get used to the thumbs. <laughs> yeah, the thumb, thumbs. Thumbs. <laughs> One finger. <laughs> now. Okay, we're going you, off in a really dark Okay, have we, have we finished? Can I, I've got to do this now. Okay, yeah, go so, ahead. So this is from uh, Where the Mighty. Okay, Victorian Ox was founded in Switzerland in 1884. Later in the 19th century, the company began supplying knives to the Swiss Army. In 1897, the company patented its knife design, which was later marketed as the original Swiss Army knife. Twelve years later, Victorian Ox adopted the Swiss coat of arms as its logo, uh, which it still uses today. However, between 1908 and 2005, there was one other supplier of knives to the Swiss Army. Wenger was founded in Switzerland after Victorian Knots in 1893. Originally a manufacturer of utensils, the company expanded from spoons and forks into knives to meet the contract for the Swiss Army. The contract was split 50-50 between Wenger and Victorian Knots. Interestingly, the split contract also represented the two sides of Switzerland itself. Wenger was located in a French-speaking area of the country, whereas Victorian Knots was located in a German-speaking area. Ta da Three days later. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing this show. I, I really, it really do. I love doing it. It's I'm, so cracks I, me up. I love doing this show. Are you nodding your head? He I is nodding be. his head. Hit it. Gases and tips. Mostly. Gases and tips. Mostly. Gases and tips. It's time for Gases tip. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to need your help here, Guy, because I've sure. just realized that I'm using continuity in my camera, and the, the tip that I've got is an iOS one, and I can't do it. Ooh, or can I, though? Could I do it, possibly, on my iPad? Let me just see. Now, um, this will be interesting to see whether I can do it here. Oh, it's not on there. So if you've got, you know when you scroll down um, on your phone and you've got all those little, um, uh, those little... What can I call them? There's little icons and they've got like, you've got your torch and your camera and your, perhaps your remote. And there's all sorts of little oh, extra on the lock widgets. Screen. They're on the lock kind screen. Kind of lock yeah. Well, it's yeah. not, it's not really a lock screen, is it? It's when yeah. you scroll down, you get to your, your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi and all of those. In there, you can add what looks like an ear because it's the noise app, right? Okay. I don't, if you know when you've, you, you, you it, it listens out for, you know, you know, a lot of noise going on. Anyway, there's a, there's, it's, it looks, the icon looks like an ear. What I found out today was that if you press now, I don't know if you've got that app available or whether you've got that on your iPhone. I'm not sure. You're not sure. See, I could do it here, but I'm, let me change cameras. Let me see if. No, I can hold on, hold on. I got my. Oh, no, no, I can do it. I can, I can change. Yeah. So if you, if you do get to that location see if you've got that ear because what you can do on that when you press i think you have to press and hold on it i'm gonna to have to definitely um, well what's it called what's the app called i can't tell you what it's called it's noise let me go let me go to the cat my my other camera and then i'll just keep that going so i can do this i'm gonna be um the camera um youtube folks sorry about this i'm <laughs> sorry about this folks i'm going uh. yeah it's going all a bit blue and all a bit dodgy um, but there's, there's a very good reason for this. Right. Oh, good. So, Your microphone is switched too. It shouldn't have done. No, no. Okay. You no, it's because I moved it. away. So, so yeah. Let me just let me just adjust it. So, sorry for this, folks. Here we go. There we go. Now, so when you go onto your app, if you scroll down, I don't know why I've got it on mine, but you press and hold that little ear, and it's got on it. It says background sounds. Well, if you click on that, can you hear this? Yes. Right, that's a background sound, but I can actually click on it and you've got an option of bright noise, dark noise, ocean, rain, or stream. So I'm changed to the stream. Can you hear the stream? What, can you show me what that app looks like? I can't yep. I can't find it. Right, let me turn it off because I don't is it want in it to settings? be playing. 
it's it possibly it looks like an ear now let's let's do can i see oh, oh okay can you see the ear so that's that little icon but i just found it i just found it interesting if you want some white noise or you want to create some white noise that's the way to do it i just found i just when I clicked on it, I thought, what does that app do? I don't know why I'd got it on my... I'd obviously put it on there for a reason. I clicked on it. You click on it, and you can adjust the volume. Click on the stream. There you go. Let's have the ocean. There's the ocean, see, folks, playing. And there you go. Doing it. That's, I can't find it. Uh, well, okay. that's, well, don't worry about it too much. Um, <laughs> and that... It'll be in your settings if you want to add it. Now I've got to see if there's any way of me being able to get back to my continuity camera. This could be really interesting. <gasps> so He's gone blank. He's gone blank. He's back. There you go. So, and that... Or just the side of your face. That is <laughs> the end of... Oh, guesses. Snippets. Guesses, snippets. No. Tips. Tips. <laughs> tips. tips. Snip tips. tips. Snip Ooh. tips. Tips. <laughs> Tips. tips. Tips with a p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p p Yes, you deserve your big shot. Yeah, in very <laughs> shit. Yes, three of them, definitely. Ah! Um, <laughs> Usually they, they just come in pairs. <laughs> um, look, you want to dig your oh, hole, you mate. Meant, you meant the sound. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. All man. right. Yes, yes. Um, now... Yeah, go on to your next thing. Go on to your picks and stuff. I know they're okay. Well, I don't. I don't have a pick this week, and we got started so late or so quickly that I didn't have time to go over to Skype to see if we had any uh, any feedback. Uh, Any feedback that we may have in Skype, we will we will get to next week. Uh, Of course, (laughs) as usual, until this horrible thing is over, there's a timeout.com list of helpful Ukrainian donation sites, or you can just go to the Ukrainian Red Cross or Doctors Without Borders. There'll be links in the show notes to contribute, and we wish our friends in the Ukraine the best of luck with the terrible things that are going on right now. Um, as I said, we have we have no feedback. Uh, and uh, we if, do. But if you do, we do, we do. Ah, ah. Tell now, me. I got sent an email. Are you listening, Greg Bell? Greg Bell, I'm going to have to forward this to you guys so that you can possibly send him a wooty, maybe. Okay, yeah. Do you remember last week I said people might send in ducks? Yes, yes. I was wondering if anybody was going to. <laughs> well, Greg Bell did. And he said, in the subject line, capital D, UX. In the body of the email. That's how you spell it, yeah. Dot, dot, dot. As requested, sent from iPhone. <laughs> Brilliant, Greg. I saw that, that come in and the email and it just made me laugh. It quacked him up. It quacked me up considerably. <laughs> but uh, that is worthy of a Woody. So, yeah, go ahead and, and send I'll, me his email address. I'll, 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 I'll forward that to you, definitely. Or just, put, just it in, put his email address in uh, messages. And I'll take care of it. Okay. But thank you, Greg. We really appreciate when, especially, I don't think we've ever received anything from him. No, we haven't. So. Okay. So that's. That Lou, Lou? Lou, Lou. <laughs> that is definitely deserving of a booty. Um, <laughs> so funny. So thank you, Greg. You will, you will receive a Woody. And if for people who don't know what a Woody is, it is a big W, big O, big O, big T, big, big tie, big T, <laughs> little I, little E, exclamation mark. That is a Woody. And if you want one, send us feedback or do something that is going to uh, enhance the show because God knows we need it. And Greg, in this particular case, has done both. So thank you, Greg. Um, no audio feedback. Of course, if you'd like to contribute to the madness that is the MyMac.com podcast, you can go to Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. You can go to coffee, ko-fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot, or you can pay a pal at paypal.me 
forward slash Mac <clears throat> Parrot. And I'm not hearing. Are you not hearing them? No, not hearing them. Just go through it again. Okay. Patreon.com forward slash Mac Parrot. <laughs> there we go. Coffee, ko fi.com forward slash Mac Parrot. Or <laughs> PayPal at paypal.me forward slash Mac Parrot. Why wasn't that playing before? I don't know. I'm and I'm hearing it twice. So we I don't I don't I don't know if that's coming out in the audio recording, but I'm hearing it twice. But we'll okay, see. Cool. Either way, it's fine. Uh gas, if people oh, this is actually not gonna be good if this is playing double. If people wanted to get a hold of you, <laughs> yes. How would they do it? Well, what they do, Guy, is send an email to gaz mm -hmm. at mymac.com, G-A-Z at Car. mymac.com, or on the Twitters, twitter.com forward slash gazmaz. Actually, somebody did. I can't. I've got my Twitters. It's on my phone. Somebody contacted me and said they've got a problem in rest. Oh, dear. I'm failing completely. Anyway, twitter.com well, forward slash. Actually, when, when we're done with this. Well, you're on your Mac, right? Did it, how did it come in? I don't, I, don't use, I don't use Twitter on my Mac. Okay. Okay. Well, do you want to go over it now before? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. It's fine. We'll carry on. I'll do it at the end. It's all right. We'll okay. perhaps do it. We can do it next week. It's not time specific. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Twitter.com forward slash Gazmaz. G A Z Car. N A Z Car. Um, or you can send an, e an email, a Twitter. Uh, <laughs> I'm flustered myself, you see. You can send. Well, I'm people should listen. From last people week. should listen to this because of the complete mess we always make of it. <laughs> or you can contact both Guy and myself on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash Guy and Gaz, G U Y A N D. Yeah, Y D. G A Z. You can also send Cars. an email to feedback, F W E D B A C K, at my Mac.com. <laughs> oh <laughs> my word. Yeah. His name was Guy. Oh, absolutely. He's the guy. Pay no attention to that guy behind the curtain. Guy was paid his 75 grand. So I you was know not. Was a guy? I like to go with Guy. Shut down. <laughs> Guy says. <sighs> no fool one. No, if you, you want. <laughs> an email from Guy. How would they do it? Oh, it is so, so very easy. You can send that to Guy at MyMac.com or podcast at VertShark.com. There we go. Uh, you can also reach me on the Twitter's. Uh, I am either Mac Parrot <laughs> or Vert Shark right over there on the Twitters. Uh, VertShark.com is the website that you can go to to see all of the uh, the odds and vids eventually. I still haven't fixed it. Or you can go over to the YouTube channel and like, share, subscribe. Did you see that the first time, guys? Like, share, subscribe no, but I saw to it the, the Vert Shark no, channel. No, but I saw it the first time. Okay, I'll take one back. <laughs> and uh, then you can see all of the vids over there on the tubes of you, and you'll be delighted by all of those things. You will. You can also reach us via our Skype telephone number, which is one or plus one that I forgot to do last week, 703-436-9501. Or, or and... If you didn't hear that, I see I'm already messing it up. If you didn't hear that the first time, one or plus one outside of the United States, 703-436-9501. Or if you want to hear me do the bit again, where I say you don't have to do a one or a plus one and just go right <laughs> to the Skype application, you're in luck because I'm about to tell you how that works. Go right to the Skype application. No one, no zero. And just dial 703-436-9501. Now, I would like to say, number one, thank you. Thank all of you so very, very much for downloading and listening, especially this week, to the MyMac.com podcast. Especially this week. Especially this week. We really, really do appreciate the fact that you have taken the time and the effort to consume this product and however it is that you want to consume it in whatever form or fashion. We really, really do appreciate it. And Gaz. What? I think most weeks we're probably good enough. Eh, maybe. I think most weeks we're smart enough. 
And that doggone it, Wolf, 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 that cute little pup, Wolf, Wolf, people <laughs> like us. Do you know, I was stood by a swimming pool and somebody said, is this pool safe for diving? And I said, it deep ends. Wow. <laughs> End. to worry about. Get out of here now. Go on. Go on home and I, I go home.